Okay, so I've gotten my hands on a nice old Ruger. It's a uh, Ruger 1022 from 1982, according to its serial number. It's got a little bit of dust on it, so we'll need to clean it before we can fire it. Remember those uh, devices that I got for the barrel? Uh, Slip-on adapters for the barrel in various thread sizes? Well, that unboxing video, we're finally getting to use these things. And we're going to actually test it. And that's coming up next on Mostly 22 LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. Uh, the weather was absolutely beautiful today, right up until I got into my car after work, and then it decided to stop cooperating with me. So if you hear thunder, uh, you know that it's because of the weather. Don't touch anything metal while you're watching this video. So we've got an old 1982 Ruger right here. Uh, needs a little bit of cleanup. It's actually really good looking. Uh, for its age, it's probably only had about 100 to 150 rounds in it. I'll be doing a couple of videos with this. and uh, But first I want to go ahead and clean it. And you'll remember that I did an unboxing video for uh, Infinite Product Solutions. I bought a couple of items for this. I've got um, three items in particular, plus a spare brass screw. So let's pull three of these items out. And I think I'm going to have a use for these. Now the first one we've got right here is a one half by 28 TPI thread. This way, when I put this onto the Ruger, I'll be able to actually use a suppressor. I, as you know, I own two suppressors. Or I'll be able to put a, a flash hider or a muzzle, you know, any muzzle device, um, a, a muzzle brake, all sorts of things that I can put on there. This one right here is the, uh, the barrel thread adapter so that I can put an oil filter on here and turn it into a solvent trap. This is my solvent trap adapter, and this will go on here. And this is what we're going to be using to clean it with. Is I would adjust this right here, make sure I've got a nice tight fit. That should be more than tight enough. And then what I can do is I can put on my oil filter. And now I can go to town on this. Uh, using this oil filter as a solvent trap, I can now clean indoors here in the RV. And yes, I'm actually going to clean this gun in a brand new RV. That's uh, because Infinite Product Solutions really does make some really great devices, and I, I trust that this is going to work. Okay, now the reason that I say that this adapter right here might be kind of excess to my inventory is because I have this adapter right here in one half by 28, which will go onto the barrel. Let's go ahead and put that on. Okay, that's nice and tight. And so what we'll do now is we'll just simply put on the other solvent trap adapter that I've got for one half by 28 threads. And as you can see right here, I can now clean this gun with this solvent trap adapter. This solvent trap adapter is kind of irrelevant at the moment. And then this will go on nice and smooth. Notice here I've got a nice little uh, thread protector. And if I wanted, I could just leave this mounted pretty much permanently to the barrel. I'd use this thread protector right here, and then I could go to town anytime I want uh, and, and go just shoot. All I have to do is I could leave this on and shoot through it. I could take it off and put my suppressor on it when I'm outdoors. Or I can come back indoors and put the adapter on it and then go ahead and clean it. So there's, there's lots of things you can do in leaving this. Okay, so before we go, we've got the sight assembly right here, this front sight, and let me show you what the tolerances look like here. Look at that. That adapter goes right on top of it and does not overextend. And uh, for the one half by 28 thread adapter, same thing. Goes right on top of it, does not overextend. Remember, these were made in 2015, and they slipped right onto a Ruger made in 1982. So this tells you that Ruger is doing a fantastic job with their lineup, and these uh, devices are backwards compatible, at least to the 1982 era. So I really do like that, and I really do like Infinite Product Solutions products. If you're looking to put a suppressor on the end of a barrel, this is an easy way to do it. Probably 20 to 25 bucks at most with shipping. It's going to be great. I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR, and remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.